And welcome back to the Weather Center. Let's go directly over to meteorologist Eric Tolman that is actually in the Weather Center that says that there are actually uh, uh, thunderstorms that are moving into the Armada area right now. Yes, as a matter of fact, if you're actually in the Armada area, there are some uh, thunderstorms that are beginning to move in the area, so it is probably going to get dark, kind of nasty outside. Uh, it's actually a batch of uh, thunderstorms that just showed up on the computer models. We'll show you that in uh, just a moment. Uh, we have a lot of severe thunderstorms and thunderstorm action that is actually moving kind of fast. Uh, so uh, it's going to be in and out of here, but also now we have uh, more development way to the west. Uh, for redevelopment, there are no warnings with any of this uh, right now, but possibly some of these storms are going to be kind of on the strong side. That seems to be happening way down in the Detroit area and further to the south a little bit in the Toledo area. But we are keeping a very close eye on all of the activity right now. And this was a statement that we got from Paul Gross on Local 4. Uh, this was a statement that we just got a couple minutes ago. Tornado watch continues, but no warnings now. Uh, still need to monitor areas to the west for possible redevelopment of uh, strong and severe thunderstorms. So this is all the severe uh, weather action that we've got going on in the metropolitan Detroit area. The tornado watch will continue for all of southeast Michigan until 8 p.m. We'll let you know if that does change uh, because everything seems to be changing very rapidly here. Uh, then we really have to focus our attention on what's going on way in the west uh, as there's uh, the potential that we might have another round of uh, severe thunderstorms. Uh, we're going to go to the computer models right now and show you what's going on with that and then we'll go back to our uh, Twitter page. Um, if they can bring up computer uh, model number one for us, thank you very much. And uh, this is where all the action has been for most of the day. You can't really see it so we'll have to go back to uh, Twitter right now um, because it's kind of dark in um, our uh, area right now so it's really hard to see what's going on with that so we apologize for that so we just want to let you know all areas still need to be alert for the possibility of uh, thunderstorms um, and if you feel that you're threatened by any of the weather um, and, and if you feel that it's kind of dangerous if you uh, hear thunder or lightning um, just get to uh, the lowest part of, uh, of your home such as a basement um, or even uh, a bathroom and just get some pillows and a blanket and just uh, cover yourself up with uh, uh, extra protection just in case. We're not saying that we've had any tornado uh, t weather at this time. There haven't been any tornadoes, but we are keeping a very close eye on that. And uh, over in our area in downtown Armada, we are actually seeing uh, very, very gusty uh, thunderstorms right now. The winds are picking up. Uh, so out in this area, we've got a little line of uh, thunderstorm activity that is kind of a, a little bit on the strong side, but we're not getting any warnings out of it, just uh, some thunderstorms that seem to be moving in the area. So our eyes are going to continue to be on the horizon for redevelopment, possibly. Uh, so stay tuned with me, and uh, when we get more updates on Twitter, uh, we'll give you the latest developments as soon as we get them. So, so far... Uh, so far, so good, but the thunderstorms are moving quite fast. Uh, we think that that tornado watch may be dropped before 8 o'clock. We'll let you know when the all clear is, when the watch comes down. But for right now, um, the watch is still in effect for all of southeast lower Michigan. We will keep you posted on that watch um, indefinitely. So um, let's go back and see if we've gotten any other updates. And we're going to check that out right now and see what's uh, happening right now. Uh, let's open this one up. We just got this one from Local 4 again. Uh, and this is from Ben Bailey on Local 4, one of the other meteorologists. Um, his statement says that there's actually heavy pockets of rain, uh, strong thunderstorms, but nothing severe at this moment. So there are strong thunderstorms, but they're not actually at the severe limit. So um, we just want to let you know about that. So uh, that seems to be the case out in that area. So this is where all the um, severe thunderstorms are at. This is where all the action is at. So we'll continue to keep a very close eye on this. I know it just seems like we're getting updates uh, throughout the evening. So things have been very crazy. And on top of all of that, we've gotten a lot of responses. I'd say about seven or eight responses once that we had uh, 
told you a little bit about uh, the um, tornado watch. Uh, a lot of viewers just happen to see it pop up and they automatically responded to our uh, video and uh, we got those uh, results. Thank you to those viewers that did that and then when we get the all clear, we will make sure that we announce that and have that uh, posted up there as well. Uh, we're going to check again to see if we have any other updates and we have about eight of them. And this is what we have from Channel 7 Action News. Uh, we're going to check this out right now and see what's happening and then we'll get an update on much more in just a little bit. And let's see what uh, what we got from Channel 7 Action News. This is the update that we got from them and this is what we're hearing. Uh, the heaviest storm right now from uh, maybe to New Boston moving northeast at 50 miles per hour uh, could become severe so uh, we're going to keep a very close eye on this action over here. Um, this is another another batch of severe uh, thunderstorms, another uh, round of uh, heaviest uh, storms that we're going to have to keep monitoring very closely and it's this line right over here um, that Dave R Repsroff on Channel 7 Action News, one of the other meteorologists, just indicated to us and we just got that update on um, my Twitter page about two minutes ago. So we'll be watching this line of uh, severe thunderstorms and we'll keep a very close eye on that. That is something that we'll focus on and it may become severe soon so we'll have to let you know exactly um, if that's going to hold together or what the situation may be so things are just starting to refire again. Um, but um, there hasn't been constant severe thunderstorm warnings um, like we had at 2 o'clock where things started popping up and things got kind of crazy and then at 3.30 things uh, began to get crazy and then more warnings came in as well. Now things are starting to slow down a little bit because of the fact that a lot of these uh, thunderstorms are moving at a very fast pace so not everybody is going to see uh, thunderstorm action. Now if it was a widespread event of uh, thunderstorm action and they were moving at a very slow pace then I could probably see us in a very long trend for uh, severe weather action so we'll continue to keep a very close eye on that as well that is the update that we have at this point and uh, we have another update that just came in but that's not really um, something that we're going to worry about at this point so we just wanted to let you know that that is actually an update and uh, we will uh, keep a very close eye on that so we will actually comment on that as well and uh, if you have any questions you can actually uh, tweet one of the meteorologists if you have any questions or uh, thank him for the update as well and uh, like always I will be keeping you posted on all of the events and all the warnings and all the storms that do come in but we still have a couple more hours to go um, and that uh, tornado watch is in effect until 8 o'clock for all of Southeast Lower Michigan. That could change. Uh, we'll let you know about that um, uh, if we hear anything different from the National Weather Service. So uh, stay tuned with us. We'll give you more information. There are no warnings uh, right now in Southeast Michigan. So, so far things are calming down, but we're still watching for more potential for more uh, severe weather action, and we'll have more on that coming up. And if we get any more uh, up-to-date information on Channel 7 Action News or Local 4 or Fox 2 uh, as well, um, we'll bring it to you as soon as, it, as soon as it becomes available. So it's been a very active day so far. Now we're going to wait and see if it gets uh, active again. We might see some redevelopment of more thunderstorms. Not quite sure. We'll kind of let you know about that. So it's a, a, an if, but we are watching that potential that we might have another round of severe storms. So that's the only update that I know at this time, but we are watching and we are tracking those storms. So uh, stay tuned with us. We'll have the very latest, and I'll have another update coming up at 545 or maybe sooner if we hear more. But so far, we haven't heard anything as of right now. So uh, just be on guard uh, for any possible uh, storms that may erupt or redevelop. We'll let you know if there's any possible warnings that might come up with that. Stay tuned. We'll, get, we'll give you more updates on Twitter as well throughout the evening. And when we get the all clear, uh, we'll make sure that we uh, present that as well. This is meteorologist Eric Tolman. I will return in the next half an hour. I'll be back at 515 and maybe a little bit sooner with another update on 
a severe weather event in Southeast Michigan. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in a little bit.